You mentioned Brian Edwards uh, getting up there in the receiving records in every category. Yeah. What have you seen from him in his three plus years and over this summer that makes you think he's ready to take the torch from Debo? I think he's you know just you know every player can improve and get better and obviously some things we talked in terms of Brian and getting stronger and being more consistent catching the football obviously the deep box especially, um, but uh, he has worked extremely hard this summer uh, really attacked uh, the the uh, the off season. I've seen a lot of guys that make a decision to come back and kind of cruise through the off season and cruise through summer. And that's not the right mentality, and that's not what Brian's done. Brian's in really good shape. He told me he's in the best shape he's felt like he's been in South Carolina uh, going into this year, and, and I expect for him to have a great year. Take that next yeah, step. He's been he's got healthy. I mean, Rico's very talented. He's got to be healthy. You know, you watch Rico in the weight room. You watch him in workouts and, and athletically uh, is what you want. We just got to stay healthy. What's this offense have to do to, I guess, achieve its full potential this season? Well, you know, we improved about a touchdown a game, about 100 yards a game, eight more snaps a game. The tempo did help us. Mm -hmm. um, the inconsistencies uh, catching the football, which, which I mean, guys, I mean, let's go back and look at it. I mean, it's, yeah. there's, some, there's some touchdowns left out there. There's some momentum changing games, and Brian didn't drop them. Um, so you look at that in the red zone and, and the amount of turnover. I mean, those are some things that I felt like we had a lot of self-inflicted issues. Uh, we still haven't found that consistent runner that's been able to run through contact, that's been able to make a guy miss in space. And in our league, you're going to have to do that. That's just that's part of the deal. Uh, and, and hopefully we'll continue to, 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 to improve their moving forwards. He's got a lot going on away from the football field. Do you worry about that for a freshman player? And how does he handle that? How does he balance that with everything that he's got going on with the football program? I think anything that's really important to you in life that drives you in life, you, you don't need to keep that away from somebody. And obviously the, uh, his foundation, his family's foundation is very important to him and to us as well. Uh, but when football season starts, we'll, we'll be full speed football and, and those sort of things. And, and uh, but, but I'm excited that he's able to promote and, and help uh, the awareness of mental health, and that's very important. You think well, I just, you know, you, you got a you got a veteran quarterback returning. Uh, I think we've recruited very well. We've got really good, uh, you know, quality depth on our football team. Uh, I look at our senior class, and you look at guys like Brian Edwards, uh, who's going to probably leave South Carolina with every receiving record there is. Uh, Donnell Stanley, who's a four-year starter. Brian's a four-year starter. Jake's a four-year starter. I'm going to throw Sedarius Hutcherson in there. He's going to be a three-year starter and a really good football player. More quality depth on the offensive line. Keel Pollard and Kyle Markway, and Kyle's a junior, but I'm going to throw him in that category of guys that are very dependable players that are going to be very productive for us. I think we've recruited well at the receiver position. Uh, you look at the five seniors on the defensive line, along with the depth that we've recruited there. We need to be more consistent at linebacker. We were very consistent at linebacker last year. We need more consistent play. Uh, we do have our little thin. And a little, uh, you know, I guess I'm just thin is probably the best word in the secondary, but we're really talented back there. And I like the, the, I like the guys we got. Immediate impact? Or is it well, again, I, in all young players, their roles are going to be defined in training camp. You know, and, and, uh, and some older players, as far as how much they're going to play is how, how well can we depend on them uh, to go play at a high level. And I'm really going to put a lot of pressure on our five seniors up front, Javon Kenlaw and Kier Thomas and Kobe Smith and Danny Fennell and Dennis Warren. You know, we need those five guys to play well, and they should. They're good football players, and they, they need to play well, and they need to help bring these other guys along. And, and uh, again, I think we've recruited well. Ricky's a year older. JJ's a year older. Aaron Sterling's a year older. Uh, Jabari Ellis, Devontae Davis, Tyreek Johnson, getting him back off the knee. Uh, Zach Pickens and Joe Anderson. I mean, and we need those guys to keep coming along for us. Can you talk? Well, I think, you know, the, the biggest thing is just be more consistent with the football. I think it all boils down to that. And that's where we've got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. All 14 interceptions weren't on Jake. You know, uh, but, but, but we've got to do a better job in the red zone. We've got to do a better job overall. We had also had over 20 drops. And, and so momentum changing in the game drops. <laughs> To change the complexion of the game with a struggling defense, it needs it needs a little confidence and a little cushion. So uh, again, I think this is the biggest thing and the biggest you know thing I've told Jake as far as just let's just take care of the football, be more consistent with our decision making and taking care of the ball. And uh, he's worked extremely hard in the offseason. I'm looking forward to seeing him play his senior year.